Doc, what's up? I, uh, we, um, uh, have a problem. Uh, what, what kind of problem? Well, I designed this car for one of our wealthiest industrialists. It's a very special car. So why do I have the feeling this story doesn't have a good ending? It wouldn't exactly pass customs, so I had the parts ship here separately. I figured nobody would notice. And? Somebody noticed. Actually, it feels like everybody noticed. The base model arrives today, and every gang in Hong Kong's out to get it. All right, let me guess. If 18K or one of the other triads builds this car... Catastrophe. I did take some precautions, though. I brought in a bunch of look-alike cars as decoys. Will you help me? All right, well, how do I tell the real ones from the decoys? It's the one that doesn't blow up when you drive it. Well, that's just great. That's just fucking great, Doc. Put you out, Wei. What? I've installed a cell and radio scanner. You should be able to pick up the signals of anyone chasing you. It's a bit wonky, though, so I really can't tell you what else you'll get. The next version will have all leather in here. So why not ship the car all at once? Import restrictions. Technically, we're not supposed to send this to China. We're not in China. We're in Hong Kong. You want to make that point to the U.S. State Department? Also, Special Branch doesn't want the mainland to know. Wait a minute. You guys are worried about China? I thought the point was... Theoretically, they leave us alone. But if they like the car enough, who knows? Best if nobody knows we have it. Or if they do know, they can claim that they don't. That way, everybody saves face. We get our car, nobody else gets embarrassed. This is the Hong Kong way. You should know that by now. Long as it never hits the papers, we can act as if we're independent. But if it starts to look like we're independent... Alright, I get it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 